Okay, let's start our warm-ups and see where we go from there just gently today. So feet hip width apart, sitting bones down, pelvis nice and stacked over your bones of your legs for support. Shoulders back and down, arms relaxed, get that core activated. So bring your ribs towards your spine and then up, lengthen through your spine. Just reach the head toward the seat. Take a few moments getting focused inward, breathing, noticing what your body is telling you today. Just take a moment to allow your breath to deepen, exhaling tension, and getting into your yoga frame of reference. And then inhaling, reach your fingertips out at shoulder level, up through the crown. Hands to your heart, elbows a little back to keep the chest open. Inhale, stretch your arms to the front, and then exhale, hands behind you. Just clasp the fingers and press them toward the floor. So you lift your heart, push your head slightly back, and then pivot at your hips and exhale over. Take a moment, lift your sitting bones, bring your hands toward your head through your shoulders, move your head around to get your neck released a little more. And on the inhalation, <clears throat> work your way back up. Head back, chest high. <coughs> and just allow your whole spine to lengthen. And then inhale and come on up and release your arms. Hmm, that a little bit. So again, arms released and the crown reaching up. Arms at shoulder level one more time. Hands to your chest, stretch out to the front, shoulders still down. And then bring your hands behind, clasp them and press them again toward the floor. See if you did that the opposite way or just your habitual way. Clasping those fingers. Stretch your head back, pivot at your hips, exhale over and relax. And again, just take a few moments there. Releasing your neck, your shoulders, anything that's stiff and tight, let it go. And again, slowly as you breathe in, work your way up. Feel those lungs as you lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch your head back, keep breathing, and lengthening your spine. And then inhale and come upright, release your arms, take a few moments just to observe how your body is responding today. And then we'll bring the arms again at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, pass them, turn them around and clasp. Bring your arms next to your ears and stretch everything up, the shoulders down. And then lean to the side, no twisting on this one, and just let those ribs stretch apart as you contract on the side you're leaning toward. Get that foot you're leaning away from sinking down maybe a little bit more. And then inhale back to the center and switch your hands. And again, pull those arms near your ears, shoulders down, head out, and lean to that opposite side. Stretch it out, maximizing that whole opening along your ribs. Keep breathing. And then inhaling, come back to the center and release. Feel a little bit more stretched out and that lateral motion for your spine, active, spine activated. And then we're going to stretch those bones apart so we can twist. So sitting bones down, crown high, arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, bring your hands up, and then clasp at your elbows. Stretch out through your elbows and crown, breathe in, and exhale for a twist either way. Lengthen up, weight on both feet evenly, and exhale over into a forward bend while you're twisting. Take a few breaths there, just breathe and relax. See if your weight's still on both feet evenly as you come back, inhaling your way up. And again, upper body back bend, elbows back, shoulders down making sure you're not overworking your lower back while you're twisting. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. 
And again, lengthen that spine through the twist and exhale to the opposite side. Another breath and pivot on over and just take a moment to relax. Lift your sitting bones, keep your arms next to your ears. And again, staying in your twist, just slowly come back up, elbows back, chest high, shoulders down, and a nice upper body back bend. Take a few breaths there, just lengthening. And then on an inhalation, come up and exhale around to the center. Shoulders down, arms up, with that extended mountain. Sink into your feet evenly. And then let's swan dive forward. So just come all the way till you're parallel to the floor. Everything's stretched and straight. And then just round and drop into ragdoll. Arms toward the floor. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs if you like that stretch on your back. And then arms again to the front. And slowly wind your way from the bottom of your spine one more time. Shoulders back and down and returning to mountain pose. Take a moment feeling that spine all energized and ready to do some yoga today. And just a little gentle practice today. So bring your hands together and look at them. Hands in prayer right in front of you and follow them up toward the ceiling. Keep looking at them. And just a nice, gentle upper body back bend again. So thumbs coming back, heart lifting, looking at your thumbs. And then exhale, be in the process, following your hands first to your heart, and then slowly pivoting back over into right down. Slide your hands up under your knees, on your shins, straighten everything. So elbows, knees, and spine, everything straight. Just looking down at the floor. Stretch the sitting bones back and the crown forward. Exhale and release back into ragdoll. Palms together and again, just be in the process following your hands. And once again, finish up toward the ceiling and a little behind you, giving a nice upper body back bend. Exhaling hands to your heart and release back into mountain pose. Just a little extra energy through your whole spine as we work through that range of motion. And then we'll just swing back and forth with a little twist motion. Keep your feet where they are and just release and relax, bringing your hands first to one side and then the other. Follow with your eyes along with your hands to each side. And as things warm up along your spine in those twists, just maybe go a little further looking behind you as much or as little as your body would like to do. And then coming back to the center, just feel the spine a little bit more activated. And we'll work the shoulders. So bring your hands on your back, <coughs> heels of the palms on your bottom, Shoulder blades and fingertips towards your hips. And then <clears throat> rotate your elbows toward each other. Feel that heart area across the upper chest open a little bit more. So nice pressure on the lower back with your hands, just giving you some support. And then again, rotate, looking up slightly more and lift your heart, push your head back. And again, a nice upper body back bend <clears throat> with that spine supported on your hands. Keep those elbows moving toward each other, opening across the heart and chest. And then chin back toward your chest, inhaling, come back upright, release your arms. And again, just take a moment, feel your spine more activated and energized. Bring your arms out. Palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders, and then push one side up and come up on the opposite toes so that the side you're stretching at the foot is flat and that heel is lifted on the other foot. So feel those ribs again stretching apart. Exhale that side down, inhale the other one up. And again, exhale and release. One more time, stretch that first side up. 
Get the shoulder blades down, even as you reach that hand high. And then coming down, once more coming up on the other side. And then both feet down, both hands up. Bring the hands right next to your ears. Extended mountain, just keep reaching high. And then keep everything as straight as you can. Pivot at your hip joints and come parallel to the floor. Arms still next to your ears if you can do it. Sitting bones back, crown forward. Stretch that spine and drop into right dog. And relax. And again, sitting bones are up, getting those backs of the legs stretched a little bit more. Take a moment to breathe. And then slowly chin in, arms just hanging. Wind from the bottom of the spine back into mountain pose and relax. Sink into your feet evenly, reach up through the crown. And then clasp your arms behind your back, just clasping the forearms or elbows. And then bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond them, overlook those knees. And then some circles with the hips to get that lower body just a little bit more energized and activated. So circles as deep as you'd like, but don't go too far with those knees beyond your toes. We don't want those knees overworked. Just feel the lower back, feel the hips, pelvis moving. Feel also the legs and feet getting a little bit more activated. And then stop and go the opposite way with your circles, balancing the body because that's what we do in yoga. We make sure that we use every part evenly. And this whole sequence is going to activate all parts of your body. And then release and come back into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling that lower back and pelvis area a little bit more energized. And let's work the feet a little bit more. So coming with the feet together. And again, bending the knees towards your toes, hands above your knees, and some circles. So feel the ankles move maybe a little bit more, the bottoms of your feet and toes as you go through those just gentle circles knees coming around and then stop and go the other way again because yeah we balance no matter what we're doing feel those feet getting a little bit more activated against the floor and then release and pick a spot out in front of you and again still knees slightly bent and come up onto the base of your toes so spread out the toes no gripping and just lift the heels, keeping the base of the toes down for good support, those toes spreading apart, and find your balance. And then after you've balanced a little bit, we roll back and forth a few times to get those arches and ankles and toes a little bit more work today. And then come on back up and into mountain pose, feet hip width apart. Just take a moment, feel that lower body more activated. And we'll do our pelvic tilts. So angle those toes just slightly out, knees towards your toes, hands above your knees. And remember you're positioning, not supporting. So you don't want pressure in your hands on your knees. And then shoulders above your toes, and keep the knees and shoulders and toes where they are. And then we're gonna push the sitting bones back and the chest forward and get a nice back bend through the whole spine. And then as you exhale, sitting bones tuck down and forward, ribs pull back and look down between the feet. So a few times through those range of spinal movements as you breathe with it. So inhale into the back bends, shoulder blades down, chest forward, sitting bones back. And as you exhale, get that core a little bit contracted as you go into the forward bend. And just feel your whole spine working. Breathe and allow your 
body just to release any tension wherever it feels tight. And then when you're forward, just pause a moment there and come on back up into mountain pose. As you get all the way up again, just feel your whole midsection a little bit more energized through the pelvis, through the whole length of your spine, maybe a little bit also across that heart area. And don't forget to breathe. And then bring your hands behind and clasp them just gently with the fingers. Press the fingers down toward the floor and lift your heart coming into a nice little back bend. So the more you press your hands down and push your head back, the more you're going to get into a little back bend. But see if you can keep your hips above your ankles so that your body is supported on the bones. And then tuck your chin in and exhale forward. Hands coming up and head down once again. A little yoga mudra here. Letting the sitting bones lift, the hands come toward your head. And again, just release that neck. Take a moment to lift a little higher with the sitting bones. Bring your head toward your legs, maybe a little bit more. And then with the knees slightly bent, lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones, and wind your way from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top. And again, a nice upper body back bend. Stretch your head slightly back. Press those hands down. Just keep lifting through the heart. And then inhaling, come back upright and release your arms. Back into mountain pose. Take a moment. Feel what's going on from your body. And we'll step wide. Get those thumbs into the hip crease right at the top of your thigh. And push sitting bones just slightly back, chest and chin lead. And just bring your whole upper body into a kind of parallel to the floor position. Slide your hands down toward your ankles. And push your sitting bones and crown away from each other. Just a gentle touch of your hands on your legs, not pressure. Spread your toes, sink into your feet evenly, chest forward. And again, just get as stretched out as you can, whole body, breathing, and lengthening. And then slide those hands back all the way up, and step again into mountain pose. And then we're going to do our back bend again, but clasp your hands the opposite way. So there's a habitual way that you normally put your fingers together. So shift at one position up. Bring the hands behind you, and again, press toward the floor, lifting your heart, pushing your head back. Get those hips right over your ankles still. And again, just gently pivot forward, tuck in your chin, bring those hands up as high as they want to go. You can keep your knees bent slightly or straighten them for a good stretch on the back of your legs. And again, just deepen into that forward bend as far as your body likes. Take a few breaths there, spread out through your toes. And again, with the knees slightly bent, the ribs go up, the sitting bones go down, the chin stays in as you wind from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top. And then again, a nice upper body back bend as you press those hands down and stretch your head back. And then chin towards your chest slightly as you come back up and into mountain pose. So you want that base of the skull area on the back of your neck to be reaching up so that neck keeps stretching. And then again, hands to your heart. Keep looking at them and bring those hands up. And once again, if you love the back bends, a little back bend with those thumbs further back and your chest high. And then separate your hands. Come upright, arms at shoulder level, pivot forward, swan dive forward, and all the way into right dog. And again, hands up under your knees, press into your shins just gently, straighten everything, elbows, knees, and spine. Get a good stretch through your whole body, feel that core activated, lengthen through the spine. And exhale back into right dog. And again, just let those arms hang as you slowly wind from the bottom back all the way up to the top of your spine. 
and once more into mountain pose. Find your balance foot. We'll do just a nice little balance warm up. So get those toes spreading out, arch lifting, the whole bottom of your foot connecting. Remember, you want the ankle, knee, and hip joint all lined up. So a little roll in at the top of the thigh helps to make sure that knee is going straight towards your second toe. And then the shoulder right above. Core activated, so those ribs toward your spine and up and the shoulders back and down. Prone to the ceiling, get a good stretch on the spine. Sink into your rounded foot and bring the other foot up. So balance challenge, keep those toes close to the floor and circle or bring it further up or pull it in way towards your heart if you want, but make sure that you're rolling in, not out at the top of the thigh so those toes stay down. And again, circle the foot, both directions, don't forget. And flex and point a couple times, straightening things out as you put that foot back down. And then shift to the other side because, yeah, we're going to balance the body and do the other side. So same thing, get everything working as those arches lift, the toes spread out, no gripping. That makes it less of a connection through the bottom of your foot. Get everything aligned and stacked in the core supporting your spine. Shoulders relax down, crown reaching up. And when you're ready on that side, bring that other foot up a little or more or in. And again, try to make sure that those toes hang down before you start circling with the ankle, working the toes and the ankles, the whole foot. Circle both ways, don't forget. And again, before you release, just straighten things out with that flex and point a few times and return to mountain pose. Clasp your hands behind you, bend your knees towards your toes, and another just nice circle through those hips and lower back, all the way down through your legs. And again, stopping and going the opposite direction, just activating that whole lower back. And then once more, back up into mountain pose, hands to your heart, follow your hands up toward the ceiling, another nice back bend if you love it. Exhaling all the way to the floor. And this time we're going all the way into our transition. Child's pose, hips on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe. Just let your whole body relax in a nice forward position as deep as you would. And then inhaling, let's sit up. Come either into a cross leg position or staff position if you prefer. And if you're cross leg, remember, we're creatures of habit. We always do it the same way. So go ahead and reverse as we get started in our seated position. Or you can have the legs just out in front. We're going to work the neck and shoulders a little bit. So bring the chin into that throat center right at the base of your throat, that little indentation, chin coming in. Feel the stretch on the back of your neck, but keep your shoulders right above your hips and the rest of the spine nice and straight. Shoulders, shoulder blades down, core supporting you. Remember, ribs in and up, letting that whole spine be supported. And then lifting your chin, looking up toward the ceiling. Just stretch the head back, just gently. And remember, shoulders still down. And then head back upright, and we're going to stretch the sides. So bring an ear over toward one shoulder, but keep both shoulders down. So no hunching up on either side. And just get a good stretch on that opposite side. If you're loving this, bring the hand up that you're tipping toward, and just add a little weight, but not pressure to get that stretch going a little bit more if that's something your neck and shoulder area like. You can bring that hand down to the floor if you want a little bit more even, your choice. And then releasing the hand and the hand from your head, tip your head back upright, feel the difference because remember that's the yoga of your practices, observing what's going on in your body. 
And then tipping to the other side with the ear, shoulders down. Just relax, feel this opposite side stretching. Bring the hand up if you want to and get a little bit more weight, but not pressure. And again, the other hand can come down next to you if you like it or not, your choice. So breathe and relax. And then releasing the hands, tip your head back straight up. Stretch through your spine, hands at your sides. If you're in staff position, that's okay. We're just gonna bring the arms out, turn the palms up, spread your fingers and reach overhead. Exhale, turn to one side, hand to the outside of your knee or your leg. If you're in staff position, other hand right behind you. Stretch the spine up in that twist and then exhale, deep in the twist. So hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning into the twist. Always whole length of your spine stretching apart, allowing the twist to happen, not forcing any part. And then again, as you breathe in, stretch everything up, release your hands and just come back to the center. And we're going to switch our legs around as we get ready to twist the other way. Hands at your sides, and again, shoulders down, arms out, spread the fingers, and palms up as you stretch high. Exhale, turn your whole body, hand to the outside of that knee or leg, other hand behind you. Stretch up, breathe in, and exhale, deepen your twist, turning a little bit further with that whole body. Allow your hips, ribs, and shoulder to turn, not just your neck. Keep breathing, relax into it. And again, lengthen up as you breathe in, exhale, and turn back to the center. Feel all that stimulation through your whole spine. And then bring your arms out, turn your palms up, spread those fingers, and let's do some circles. Just keep reaching the head up and the fingertips out as you do some big circles to start. And then make them smaller. And then stop and reach out, turn the palms down and circle the other way. And again, maximize or minimize those circles as you begin, but then begin making them smaller. And as you get back to just teeny tiny circles, stop and stretch out. Push a little bit to one side and give a stretch long against that side. And then back to the center and push to the other side. And again, back to the center, palms toward the ceiling, hands above, looking up, palms together, right to your heart. And release. And we're going to roll onto our backs or a little twist before our relaxation. So core connected, just rolling back down and just a nice reclined integration, getting your whole spine connected, your whole body relaxing down into that surface beneath you. Arms right at shoulder level, stretching out, palms toward the ceiling, or you can turn the palms down, your choice. Just our bent knee twist today. Sitting bands toward your heels, press your back down, draw those heels in toward your hips, press it down with your back and up with your feet, knees right above your hips. Roll them over to one side as you turn your head to the opposite side. Only as far as your body wants, remember those knees going down as your lower back twist. You can keep supported in that area if you need to. And your neck area twist with that head turning, also gentle there if that's an issue. Shoulders and shoulder blades down, middle back twist, and make sure you maximize there. And we're going to bring the heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, getting ready to twist the other way. And again, hands, palms up or down, your choice as you roll to the opposite side. And again, only as deep into your twist on this side as your body wants. Hips releasing as those knees go down, head turning from your neck, keep those shoulders down on the floor. Take a breath, just relax. 
And again, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back and sliding those feet out, getting ready for our final relaxation. So again, sitting bones toward your heels, hands, palms up at your side, shoulders and shoulder blades down, sinking into the surface beneath you as deep as you can. Just let your body grow heavy, sink deep into that surface beneath you. Feel those shoulders and shoulder blades, let them relax, feel the heart open maybe a little bit more across that upper chest. Relax your legs, your feet, your hips. Soften your belly, soften your jaw, face, everything. Just growing heavy and sinking into that surface beneath you as deep as you will. Letting the earth support you. As you relax completely, just let your body go. And as you do that, thoughts of your body are no longer needed. Just let them release from your awareness. Other thoughts will then come to your mind, but release them as well. At this moment, there's no need to think of the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let those thoughts drift in and out as easily as your breath. And as your body grows heavy and releases into the earth, and your mind floats more freely, just allow your awareness to turn inward, finding that peace deep within. Feel your body, feel your mind, be peace. And of course, if you can keep relaxing longer today, take as much time to release and relax as you need. It's time to reactivate for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Begin stretching your body however feels really good for you today. When you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, bring those heels in toward your hips, back pressing down as you draw your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good. Give yourself that appreciative hug. You can bring your head up or keep it on the floor, your choice always. And just let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And then bringing your feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.